I'm Brian Way and I'm standing here with my son Bryce and I want to share with you guys this storage bed that we built together. <laughs> yeah. So check out my drawers. This drawer right here is the clothing drawer. This drawer right here is my sister Ayla taking a nap. This drawer right here is the Lego drawer. I am not in it yet, but soon. Check out this compilation of videos of the build process on how it was done. So I started off by doing a quick sketch of what the bed will look like. So me, my son, and my wife are all on the same page. From there I made a cut list and we quickly got to cutting all the steel tubing necessary for the project. This project isn't just about building a bed for my son, it's about teaching him how to use tools and equipment some of which he has never used before. All the framework went together surprisingly quickly. After that, it was some grinding, sanding, and some more grinding. After one day of metal fabrication, we assembled the main frame and it really brought life to the project. After the frame was welded up, we built the drawer boxes and cut up the end panels. Polish sanding the edge of the Baltic birch plywood is key for this type of material to look its best. Proper surface preparation and sanding can make all the difference in the world and will make your finished process much easier. After all the wood parts were complete, we immediately finished them with MagnaLock clear coat finish. These little tabs being welded to the frame will be used to hold the wood panels inside the steel opening. I purchased some 36 inch KV drawer glides and pre-mounted them into the steel. The next thing was a painstaking process of cold bluing the steel. To do this, we used a product from Birchwood Casey called Super Blue, and then we top coated it with the barricade oil. It's a lot of work but the end result is phenomenal and it gives it that aged look we are trying to achieve. A few hammer in adjustable feet from McMaster Car did the trick. Not only do they look cool, they add the ability to level the frame at the installation. Now the part we've all been waiting for, to bring it into the house and assemble it. The first thing to do is to mount all six drawer glides into the steel frame. From there, the wood end panels surrounding the back and sides of the bed were secured. Unlike conventional drawer glides, these drawers are not easily removable. They must get screwed into the glide permanently. A handy tool to help in drawer lifting and alignment is the jack from FastCap. The cordless drills you see me using are the 12 volt series from Fine Tool. This is the first time the drawers are mounted in this frame, so it's quite a relief to know that they will work without any modifications. After the drawers are mounted in, the drawer fronts are lined up and screwed from the back side using fast cap power head screws. The plywood top of the bed is secured into the steel, also using fast cap power head screws, which have been cold blued to match the steel frame. How's that? I don't know. What do you think? 